D Nostra Novice, aka Derek, and are you angry? Are you frustrated? Are you furious? Are you upset about what happened on the weekend uh, in the NBA and you had some money uh, placed down on either or the West or the East and who cares about that? But you looked at the game and the game was just very, very, very trash. We're talking about trash to the extent of NFL players playing flag football. That's how bad this game was. And and you truly probably had some money there. You probably even went to the game. And you were like, this is some bull. Just truly upset about it. So, so what you do is you try to put a list together. A list together of all the starters on the East and the West. And you, and you try to invest in one of those little nice little sniper rifles. And, and don't do that. Do not do that. I mean, goodness gracious, not uh, only will you get a lot of, of time in, in jail, probably the death penalty, but a lot of angry basketball fans. Uh, so, so don't do that. Uh, if you want to get your frustrations out, get your frustrations out here at Wrestle Cram Gripes. If you're watching this today, you're watching tomorrow, you're watching it next week. I truly do thank you from the bottom of my heart to the depths. The depth of my loins, I truly do thank you. Without you guys, without you guys, it truly wouldn't be me. I'm humbled I teach and able to get time. I'm allowed to do this. Thank you so much for watching the show. Thank you so much for allowing your boy, D. Nostra Novice, to do the show. If you don't know anything about WrestleCram Gripes, anything about WrestleCram Gripes, I put out a feed each and every single Wednesday. I do apologize. It is Thursday, but I do put out a feed each and every single Wednesday. It's out right now for you guys if you want to get any type of frustrations out. I mean, uh, wrestling, of course, is the top priority. But, you know, um, uh, today I got a, 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 a political, uh, kind of political, but, you know, a political question. But, I mean... You know, if you have any type of gripes or whatnot, uh, you know, you can bring it here on El WrestleCram Gripes, of course. Once again, wrestling is the top priority because, of course, it says WrestleCram on the top right there. But, you know, you can get anything in and, uh, you know, we'll talk about it. We'll, I will deem fit if it is 100% confirmed or not. You know, probably a 50-50 type of thing. I, myself, will have the last gripe. I usually do. I do have one this go around as well. I think I have one each and every single episode. But, you know, we're going to do that as well. Uh, so, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. We're still on the road to 300 subs. Don't forget about hitting that sub button. If you have not, hit the sub button uh, to help a homegrown person here in Louisiana. Help me out. You know, how about that? Help your boy out uh, with some awesomeness with that sub. Button. Now, maybe, you know, maybe I will give you a shout out. How about that? <laughs> but anyway, um... I'm on the TikToks, I'm on Twitter or X. I do have my own Facebook group club as well. It is called WrestleCram Super Club. So don't forget to go check me out over there at WrestleCram Super Club as well. Um, fun, 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 and more fun uh, on all of those areas. Uh, but uh, without further ado, without further ado, let's get into, of course, WrestleCram gripes. The very first gripe is going to be from Larry Gear One. How we doing, Larry Gear One? Uh, can I gripe about Donald Trump money grab on these golden sneakers that he's trying to sell? <laughs> well, okay, here's the, okay, here's the, here's the, here's the, okay. I saw the shoes. They look horrible. They look really, really bad. So this is what happened if you don't know what's going on. I mean, I guarantee you do. Uh, Donald Trump went to sneaker con, I think, in New York. And uh, he uh, was, you know, uh, if you don't know that he, uh, New York has fined him over uh, $350 million, $350 million on this fraud case. And uh, in order, I'm guessing, to recoup some of the money or whatnot that he is going to have to pay, uh, he launched a, a sneaker uh, company or or a single sneaker uh, for uh, people to purchase. I think these sneakers are three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, they look really bad. They're golden shoes with the uh, uh, flag on the top 
uh, corner of the shoes. They look bad to me. They look truly bad. I will tell you this. I mean, if you are a Trump supporter, if you're not a Trump supporter, I wouldn't buy these shoes. I guarantee that these shoes are probably some other type of fraud that this guy is doing. I mean, I, it is what it is. Your gripe is 100% confirmed. Um, all I can say is that be mindful of this gentleman. I can only say that because of all of the other stuff that he put out there and it just was a waste of time. Uh, Trump University, uh, crash and burn. I mean, he's been uh, convicted uh, of, uh, you know, uh, S.A. You know, he's been convicted of it. And then, you know, he has other stuff that's going on that I, I personally think that he will be convicted of. Even though we're having situations over there in Atlanta with the district attorney, I truly think that he will be convicted of um, of the uh, racketeering charge that is going on over there. I really do. I mean, this guy is just bad news all day, every day. Uh, so, you know, uh, if you buy the shoes, hopefully you can send me a picture of you wearing the shoes or you can take the, you know, open the box and let me see the shoes or whatnot. That would be something interesting. But I, I smell fraud on this uh, a million times away. I, I just really do. But thank you so much for that gripe. Once again, your gripe was 100% confirmed. Thank you so much, Larry Gear one for that gripe. The next gripe is going to be from Pomegranate Juice 1996. How we doing, Pomegranate Juice? Uh, another domino has fallen due to Vince McMahon and this craziness. Uh, Matt Kemp was released by the company uh, with his ties to the SA. Uh, looking, uh, look, uh, let me see. Uh, now, let me see. Uh, what am I? I'm sorry. Look, let's try again. Let's try again. Uh, we build this as it navigates. How about that? Because she, she has a lot, and I didn't read it, and I had to click on it again. So let's try again. Let's try again. Anyway, uh, pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice, you have a gripe, and that gripe is, of course, another domino has fallen due to Vince McMahon and his craziness. Matt Camp was released by the company with ties to the SA. Uh, look, I need everyone released, everybody released, uh, that has anything to do with this lawsuit, ASAP. Look, I don't know who Matt Kemp is. I did read a little bit about him, a uh, behind-the-scenes uh, type of guy. Uh, I think he did the bump. I think he was a part of the bump, which is uh, a uh, uh, their streaming on uh, Facebook. I think they do it on um, uh, YouTube as well. But, uh, look, your gripe is 100% confirmed. I will say this without a doubt. Look, everybody that is that is a part of this uh, 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 scandal or this crap that's going on with uh, Vince McMahon and the horribleness of this uh, uh, S-trafficking uh, uh, um, um, uh, stuff needs to be released. I, I know that you have to do an investigation or whatnot, and you have to make sure that this... These people are uh, 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 in cahoots with this situation. I, look, I agree with you. But if you find that they are, they need to be kicked out. Just like Mike Camp or what died, or Matt Camp. I, once again, I didn't even know this, who this guy was. I'm happy that he's gone. Uh, so, yes, your gripe is 100% confirmed. Another domino, yes, has fallen. We may have some more that's going to fall as well. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Thank you so much for that gripe, Pomegranate Juice 1996. The next gripe is going to be from Handlebar Mustache. How are we doing, Handlebar Mustache? Uh, my gripe is with the WWE. And where is the new NXT Europe show? We have not heard anything about the new NXT show in quite some time. Uh, what gives? Your guess is as good as mine. Once again, I have nothing to talk about on that one. I didn't, I, I've not heard anything about it. The only thing that I can possibly say as of right now uh, is the statement that Triple H did say, I think, during the, um, uh, the conversation between him trying to get Jay White. 
Uh, I think he said that um, since the mer since they were trying to do the merger, a lot of things have crashed and burned. Uh, I think that they are still in the works for an NXT Europe. Uh, but as of right now, that's on the shelf with a lot of other things. I mean, with the merger of uh, uh, TK, uh, the TKO uh, merger between uh, uh, UFC and the WWE, a lot of that, they, they've been, you know, cutting a lot of people or cutting a lot of backstage air, uh, people as well. Uh, so I think that was in the, probably a dustpan as well. But... Once again, I will still hold fate, uh, hold true and hold fate to that because that still may be in the works. Because once again, uh, I'm you know hopefully you know I think we're getting a Mexico one. We still may be getting a Japanese one or Japan one. Hopefully, we do still get these uh, type of of, uh, of 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 NXTs all around the world. I would love to see that and or you know and they collaborate like we did the Worlds Collide, which I thought was really 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 good so i would like to see that and see what happens with that that would be very very fun um uh, and let's see let's see you know all i can say is you know cr still cross your fingers and i think probably you know it will happen how about that uh but uh thank you so much uh, for that gripe your gripe is 100 confirmed i'm sorry your gripe is 100 confirmed i do uh agree with you on that situation uh, thank you so much, Handlebar Mustache. Uh, the next gripe is going to be uh, from Southern Bell. How we doing, Southern Bell, 1980? Uh, I have a major gripe with uh, with them bypassing Nia Jax completely uh, to put this match between Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley uh, at WrestleMania 40. I'm not feeling that. Well, I will say this. I, I will say this. Nia Jax, once again, I think is doing a phenomenal job. I think she is crossing all those uh, T's and dotting all those I's, especially when it happened to be a situation uh, on Monday Night Raw where she wasn't even in the segment and she weighed, she laid waste to every single competitor in the, the Elimination Chamber. So I, I really like this. Um, I know Nia is not going to win. We all know Nia is not going to win, but I truly think this is going to be one hell of a competitive match for Rhea Ripley, a really uh, 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 test of her strength as well for her having this uh, a world title. Um, I don't think they have had a one-on-one -on -one match, and I truly think that this is going to be a very fun match. Uh, now the I agree with you again. Uh, the Becky Lynch thing between her and and Rhea Ripley, uh, and she hasn't even they, the match hasn't even happened. And but it looks like you know, hey, I'm gonna be that person to win, and it looks like she may be that person to win. I hope she's not. <laughs> I hope it's a new opponent. I would love Raquel Rodriguez to win. Uh, what not? I would love that to happen, uh, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I do, I, I, but you know, my heart wants Raquel to come back because she is the one who um, was um, um, injured. She was the one that injured because of Rhea Ripley, and that would be the better storyline. That would be the better storyline. But they're gonna go with the more eyeballs, of course, and it's gonna be uh, 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 Becky Lynch. But I agree with you 100%. I mean, they are kind of sidetracking or moving past the, the Nia Jack situation. And I hate that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think just like that, I think it's going to be a compelling match. I think it's going to be a really fun match between uh, Nia Jax and Rhea Ripley. But your gripe is 100% confirmed. And I do thank you for that gripe, Southern Bill. Uh, the next gripe is going to be from a Dragon Hunter XD. How are we doing, Dragon Hunter XD? Uh, my gripe is why is uh, Bruce Pritchard still there? Kevin Dunn retired two months ago, and Vince McMahon is no longer on the board. What is the purpose of Pritchard still being there? Um, oh, my God. I don't know. I mean, I think that they're still trying to fill that position as of right now. But you're absolutely correct. I'm still lost over the fact that Bruce, Pr Bruce Pritchard is still there and why he is still there. Uh, it looks like, you know, 
He has, but here's the thing. Uh, 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 we did hear from um, one of the uh, wrestlers or ex-wrestlers of the WWE, and she said that, you know, if, if Bruce Pritchard is still there, uh, Vince McMahon still has some type of say-so uh, in the company uh, or some type of stroke in the company. I disagree with that altogether. I truly think that Triple H... Uh, has completely taken over the entire uh, 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 works of management. I have no disrespect to Bruce Pritchard, but I truly think as of right now, Triple H has a complete hold, a complete uh, 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 lockstep with him. Uh, uh, I truly think Bruce Pritchard probably is going to retire pretty soon. I'm going to give it another six months to a year that he does leave, I'm still lost too because Kevin Dunn did leave. So it's really weird. It's really weird. I mean, they're still doing the transition with this uh, situation, but I agree with you. I mean, Bruce Prichard should be on the way out. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I most definitely agree with you. So your gripe is 100% confirmed. I most definitely agree with you. Bye, Bruce Prichard, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but thank you so much uh, for that, uh, Dragon Hunter XD. The next gripe is going to be from Mr. Greenhead. How are we doing, Mr. Greenhead? Um, I don't know if you have psychic powers or something, but, man, uh, Madam Web was a complete disaster of a movie. Uh, I don't know how this got made, but, goodness, you are a, a messiah. Look, I know when, look, I, I, look, okay, I will say this. I've consistently said over and over again that this Madam Web movie looks really bad. And I know, I know friends and family that have went to go see this movie and they truly want their money back. That's how bad this movie truly is. Uh, once again, I have said this, who acts for a Madam Web movie. I mean, she is not even a top tier uh, 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 character in Marvel. And, uh, you know, I'm a DC person. I'm a bigger DC person. But I do know a lot about Marvel. And when it comes to the Madam Web situation, who acts for this movie? Right now, I think it's at a 17% it's at a on Rotten Tomato. Uh, Dakota has fired her agent because of this situation. So it, it's really weird that, you know, we got this and, you know, you know, little spoilers, little spoilers if you want to fast forward or whatnot. Uh, the three women that, the three uh, high school uh, women that was, that was supposed to be, that's on the movie, uh, they, they show their, their in complete uniform. Here's the thing. They are not in uniform throughout the entire movie, you know? And, and the thing is, the sucky part about it is that they put that on the trailer for you to go and see it. But unfortunately, that's not even the case. Uh, I don't know if, the, you know, I know Sony has to make movies over and over again to keep the IP of Spider-Man but goodness gracious, this was bad all over. Matter of fact, this movie is so bad, it didn't have a, a cutscene at the end. And also, uh, this movie is not related or not going to be in the other movies they have with, I guess, uh, with Taven that's coming out, which I think is going to be a flop as well. Uh, with uh, the, uh, what, Morbius, which was a flop. I mean, uh, this is just getting to a point where it is just head-scratching with Sony. Why is Sony making these horrible movies when you can just sit down and, 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 and buy some better writers? Because apparently, two of the writers that was on the Madam Web uh, uh, movie was a part of Morbius. Uh, the director was uh, a part of a spinoff for uh, Game of Thrones, which I think is one of the greatest shows of all time, and they shelved that. How do you shelve a Game of Thrones spinoff? That's how bad it must have been for HBO to shelve a Game of Thrones spinoff. This is getting to a point where it's just 
They're pushing out movies and they say, hey, if you don't like it, we don't care. We're going to still bring it out. Sony, shame on you for what you have done uh, to not only um, of these, these Spider-Man IP movies, but just everything that consists of superhero movies all together. We know that it is a downturn when it comes to superhero movies, but when you are putting more salt on the wound, it is killing not only what we have right now, but the future of superhero movies. It is what it is. It sucks. Do better. Your gripe is 100% confirmed. I'm sorry, but thank you so much uh, for that gripe, <laughs> Mr. Greenhead. Uh, the very last gripe, the very last gripe is going to be from Black Star Boy uh, 1649. How are we doing, Black Star Boy? Uh, I don't know who approved the promo that Darby Allen said, but I think he is quite, I think he said the quiet part out loud. Uh, Tony Khan should be trying to, trying his hardest uh, with damage control on his promo. What do you think? I don't think it should be damage control. I, I, I guarantee that Tony Khan approved it because it wouldn't have been on TV. Live TV, as a matter of fact. Uh, but the All Friends Wrestling, uh, I mean, Corny, I mean, look, Jim Cornette, you are absolutely right. I don't know if he took that from uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Jim Cornette. I don't know if he did that. But goodness gracious, it is a All Friends Wrestling type of situation. Um, I will say this out loud. Yes, I will. Look, there are a ton of people on the roster. They have a stacked roster. And the roster is really, really good. Um, I'm talking about like top tier people uh, on their roster and they don't utilize them to the point of what it should be. Now, they're they're trying to do it now because unfortunately Kenny Omega is still recovering. Uh, Adam Hangman Page looks like uh, he's turning heel uh, and Swerve finally, I mean, we're getting a good Swerve situation. Um, I, I'm happy that uh, Samoan Joe finally gets the run at a, a world title there in AEW. But once again, um, they are struggling. They're truly, truly struggling. And I hate that they are struggling uh, with the fact that, you know, if you're not friends with Nick and Matt, that you're not going to be on the card. I mean, it is what it is. Once again, they have a loaded a loaded, 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 loaded wrestling roster, and they do not utilize it to the uh, to the extent that they should. Um, I, I will say this again, and I will continuously say this again. I feel sorry for uh, the Kuchika Okada. I feel sorry for Will Ospreay. I feel sorry for Mercedes Monet. I do feel sorry for all three of these wrestlers because what's going to happen is what happens to a lot of people who uh, uh, ha came and, and went. Matter of fact, uh, Anthea Gogo. Where is he at? But anyway. Uh, but I will say this again. They are going to use those three people. And after they use those three people for probably a really huge spot, they're going to go down, go down in the mid to low cards. That's what's going to happen. And, and it sucks because I know it, it, it has happened. I guarantee Deanna Perrazzo is going to lose at Revolution against uh, Tony Storm. And she's going to go to Rampage. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. It always happens, and it sucks. But I will say this. They're going to get paid doing it. Tony Khan has a bottomless uh, 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 a coin purse. And it, they're, they're going to get paid for it. So I'm happy that they're going to get paid for it. But here's the thing. They're not going to get uh, TV time. They're just not. It's just it, you have five hours of programming. And it just they don't know how to utilize it all that well. 
I truly do, I truly do hate that this is gonna happen. But you're absolutely right. It's going to be all friends wrestling until Tony Gr Tony Khan puts on his big boy pants and make this happen. Most definitely agree. But I do thank you. I'm, uh, your gripe is 100% confirmed. I most definitely agree with you. Thank you so much for your gripe, Black Star Boy. All right, so uh, my gripe, my gripe of this go around as of right now is going to be uh, the fans, uh, not only with AEW, but with the WWE as well. Um, I will say this, Jim Carnette uh, is a big influence on what I do here. Uh, I wouldn't have done this podcast without uh, probably Jim Carnett and, of course, uh, uh, Steven Larson over there in Going In Raw. Y'all go check out both of those. I will put those links in the description. Both of those are my inspiration for doing this show, okay? Um, and I will say this. I will say this. The fans, uh, I'm kind of an old school type of person. I do like comedian wrestling uh, if it's done correctly. But I will say this. If you are a heel, if you are, I don't care how big you are, but if you are a heel, you, the fans should know that you are a heel. They do kind of make it work, kind of, sort of, when it comes to that situation uh, with Dominic Mysterio. They truly hate Dominic Mysterio. But does he have go-home heat? No. He's going to be one of the best uh, 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 future uh, uh, wrestlers out there. Carmelo Hayes, I think he gets booed a lot as well. And they do a great job with him uh, with him booing. Um uh, you know the 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 young books doing a great job when it comes to the fact that they are heels and they are doing a great job. But once again, the promo that they had with The Rock last Friday, I thought was so good, so good. But he still got the 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 chance. He got the the finalies. He got all of that. He got every single piece of that. And they still yayed him. I hate that. That should not happen. Especially when you are a heel. A monster heel. Like uh, of The Rock. Who has just joined. The biggest heel group. In probably WWE history. Not even WWE history. But all of wrestling. The Bloodline is probably one of the greatest factions in all of wrestling. And I am putting that above the NWO as well. The fans need to understand. I don't I'm not talking about the, the diehard fans. I'm talking about like just casual fans need to understand that hey, that is a bad guy. I'm supposed to boo the bad guy. And on TV it's supposed to generate as me saying that, yes, this is the bad guy. We can go and sit down. I can put my nephew, uh, who uh, is in the, I think he's in the first grade. I think he's in the first grade. The kindergarten, first grade. If I sit him down and I let him watch TV, and they're yanging a bad guy, he's, he's going like, to be like, what is going on? I thought he's supposed to be the bad guy. And and that's that's we need to work on the, the, the yays and the boos when it comes to, to wrestling. Once again, I am kind of that old school type of, of person. Get off my lawn. We need this. Yes, I am. Because when you're a bad guy, you should be a bad guy. You should be booed as a bad guy. That's how it works or whatnot. Okay? Even though The Rock is awesome or whatnot, he needs to be booed as well. Uh, Salt Lake City, do better. But thank y'all so much for those gripes. Thank you so much for those gripes. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, uh, I mean, we're still on the road to 300. We are, I think, at 290. 10 more people. Hit me up. Sub for me. Sub for me. Let's get that 300 out of the way. Um, so, um, don't forget I'm on the TikToks. I'm on uh, Twitter or X. I do have my own Facebook group club. It is called Wrestle Cram Super Club. You can get your gripes in as of right now. I sent out the um, I sent out the new uh, feed for uh, Wrestle Cram gripes yesterday because I thought I was gonna do it yesterday, but I didn't. I do apologize for that. 
But it's out now. You can get that in. Don't forget, uh, I am going to do predictions as well. So don't forget about that as well. I got that coming up tomorrow. So uh, hold on to that as well. Uh, also, um, Wrestle, uh, Axe WrestleCram is going to be on Saturday. So get those in as well. Don't forget about that. Uh, also, uh, what else I have going on? What else do I have going on? Oh, what I learned. What I learned from last week. That's out. So don't forget. Get those in as well. Uh, you have until uh, Saturday to get those in. So lots of shows. I'm, I'm trying to build the shows back up, you guys. I'm trying to get more content on to the channel. All right. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. The best is truly yet to come. The best is truly yet to come. Until next time, love, peace, and of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, wrestling.